Hello everyone, my name is Miriam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back again this week to encourage somebody, to encourage you and I. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and we are going to be glad in this day. This is a beautiful day. Hallelujah. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give a thumbs up and also share this video so that someone else can also be encouraged by the word of God. So today I'm going to be talking about the cure for anxiety. How happy I was to find out that there is a cure after all for anxiety. There is a cure for anxiety in the word of God. You know, in these times that we are living under in this pandemic, we, 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 everyone, almost everyone, we come under attack. We start to, to get so anxious. We start to worry. But you know, God was just telling us in his word that he has a cure for anxiety. He has a cure for your anxiousness. You don't have to be anxious all the time. There is a cure for that. Even for myself, you know, we, these times that you are living uh, under, they are, they are, they are hard. Sometimes you will, you wake up and you are under the weather, but you just have to encourage yourself in the Lord. You just have to encourage yourself so that you go, you go forward in faith, in joy, in trusting God. Because, you know, under this pandemic, um, people, we have been affected health-wise. And this has also affected our economy. It has affected our businesses. It has affected our jobs. It has affected our loved ones. We've lost loved ones. We've lost friends. We've lost people that are so close to us that everyone, almost everyone, you've lost someone, someone precious. And these times, sometimes you begin to worry. But let me tell you, God has been speaking to me. But this past week, I was beginning to worry. I was beginning to get so worried. I was beginning to, to be so anxious and, you know, just failing to sleep properly because of anxiety. But as I began to read the word of God, I discovered, you know what? God has a cure for anxiety. That's what I want to share with you guys today so that somebody also can just get also encouraged. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to, to 26. We know this word. We read it a lot. We've heard about it, but today I'm telling you it's the cure for anxiety. This is why I tell you, don't worry about your life. What you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Hallelujah. Oh, I thank God. You know, I, when I was reading this, it became new to me. It's like I'd, I'd never heard this word before. Like I, I'd never read this. I'm a person who reads the Bible. I finish the Bible, I think every year I finish it, I can read the Bible twice or what in a year. Because I love the word and I love to read. But this time when I was reading it, it just it spoke to me. It's, this word spoke personally to me because I was beginning to get so anxious. You know, I was worrying what is going to happen. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I own a small business and I was like, God, what is happening in my business now? Where are the sales? We are, I'm hardly making any profits now. It's just like I'm just going there. Just I'm just maintaining this business. What is going to happen? And what is going to happen? What is my future, Lord? What is happening now? Where are the customers? Where are the sales? I was getting worried to the point that I was even uh, contemplating that you know, I think I, I should, should just close this, this business and stop. And then I, I began to ask myself, then when you stop this business, what next? What are you going to do? You know, I was just anxious, getting anxious, anxious, anxious. You can't, I can't sleep, can't eat properly. You're just anxious. You are just anxious. And you know, when I read the word of God and I saw that there's a cure, for anxiety i was so encouraged you know i began to ask myself the word of god what is saying hey, don't worry 
about what you eat, about what you drink. Do you know what? There's no need to worry about that because I've witnessed, I know in my life God has been so faithful. I've never gone to bed hungry. I've never gone to bed without eating something. I might eat what I don't want to eat on that particular day. But yes, God has fed me. I will be having something to eat. It's something to praise God for. It's something to thank God for. And I thank him so much for keeping us safe, you know. Even through under this pandemic, just to wake up and you are healthy is something to give glory to God for. You know, this anxious. When you are just anxious, you are just thinking these negative things, plotting, you are just, it's like the devil, he visits your mind, he just starts to talk him to you, and in your mind you'll be like, you are thinking, what if this happens? All the, all the scenarios, all the outcomes will be bad, because that you are being anxious, you don't see any hope, you don't see any hope at the end of the tunnel, no light at the end of the tunnel, because you are just anxious. And when you are anxious, you don't get anywhere. You don't come up with solutions. It's not like you have sold anything. It's not like now the sales are coming because now I'm just worried. No, you are just worried and no sales. <laughs> it's better to encourage yourself in the Lord. It's better to trust God what he's saying. Is, isn't it life more, much more worth, much more worth than the clothes. You cannot begin to worry about clothes. What am I going to wear? Life is more important. Like we have um, a saying in my language, which we say, Chikuruku Fema, you know, it's just the same like saying, uh, life is more important. As long as you are alive, as long as you have breath in you, you still have hope. There is a future out there. Don't get discouraged. Don't continue to have these anxious thoughts. These anxious thoughts, they don't, they don't do you any good. You end up sick. You end up having hypertension. You end up developing even acids because you'll be worried. You'll be in anxiety. You, you have even stomach cramps sometimes. You can even have palpitations and feel like you are having a heart attack all because of being anxious. But hear the word of God. God is telling us, do not worry. You cannot solve anything by being anxious. Look at the beds of the air. They do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they, the birds of the air? We are of more value than the birds of the air. You know, like the series we have been going through, we know who we are. We know we are precious to God. There's no need for us to live in anxiety. Let's cast this anxiety to God. God will take care of us. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I'm so encouraged by this word. You know, that's why I sometimes I really like to share with you guys what I'm going through. I like to share the way, what God is teaching me through a particular season. So in this season, God is just telling me, encouraging me not to worry, not to have anxious thoughts. It might, I'm, I might not living under the best uh, conditions or under what I desire to, to live under. But you know what? God is being faithful. He is feeding us. We have food to eat. He is clothing us. And you know, these days, you, eat, you are even grateful that you have food and you are able to eat it. We praise God for that. I thank God for that, that I have food and I'm actually able to eat that food, that I have clothes and I'm actually able to wear those clothes by myself without any help. You know, we just want to give glory to that, you know, to give God glory. Sometimes you just need to encourage yourself by focusing on the positives, by focusing on the good things, you know, just by living one day at a time, just telling God, thank you, Father, I am alive today. My children are well, are healthy. I have a loving husband. I have a loving family and I have friends. You, you, you people who watch my videos, you, you support me so much and you encourage me as well. I thank God for you guys. And I always pray for you that it may be well for you. Oh, may God deliver us from anxiety. So you see now, guys, the cure for anxiety is don't be anxious. Trust God that you provide for you. That's the cure for anxiety. Trust God that he will meet all your needs. Trust God that he will heal you of all manner of sicknesses. That's the cure for anxiety. Do not worry. Do not be anxious. Just trust God. Trusting God is the cure.
for anxiety. In everything, in any situation, just trusting God. That God will see me through this. That God will take care of this problem. That God will solve this problem for me. You just cast the burden to Jesus like the word uh, says. Cast your burden unto Jesus for he cares for you. Do not carry it by yourself. You are unable to do it. That's why you become anxious. Because you are not able to carry all these burdens by yourself. Just cast them to Jesus. Tell Jesus what you are going through. Just tell Jesus, my business, I'm going through this in my businesses. I'm not experiencing the sales that I need. Oh God, what should I do? God, I call upon customers to come and buy. Father, I pray that you may bless the work of my hands as you have said in your word. Bring God to remembrance his word that he has spoken. Bring him to remembrance. Just trust God in everything. That's what I am doing uh, personally. I'm just trusting God in everything. That, oh God, you take care of me. You take care of my, my children. You take care of my business. You, you are the one who gives me the ability to draw wealth. It's not by myself. You know, it's not by power, nor by might, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord. What this pandemic has really taught me is to trust God through it all. Sometimes we, 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 we trust in ourselves. You think, you know, like uh, before the pandemic, I was even planning this. I'll do this and this and this. I want to expand my business. I want to go into this also and this and this and this and that. Oh, it didn't happen. But I am alive. I am grateful. I have food on my table. I have a roof over my head. I have clothes on my back. It's something to glorify God for, you know. I just want to thank God for that. Let's go again and read um, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory, in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, Paul was just uh, uh, encouraging us, re reminding us, urging us that, and my God, he will supply all your needs. We have needs, and God, he will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. There's no need to be anxious, child of God. God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So when you are facing problems, if you have a need that you have, my dear, this is time to encourage yourself to read, even to recite Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and just matter it, meditate on it, meditate upon it, and my God shall supply or personalize it. You say, and my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God is faithful and there is power when we confess confess the word of god no need to worry child of god don't dwell on those anxious thoughts just recite the word of god meditate on the word of god matter the word of god and you know what you just find you have peace if through it all you just find that you have peace which surpasses all our understanding. Our God is faithful. Right now, I just want to pray for, for you guys. I just, you, may, you might be going through something. You might be uh, troubled. You have anxiety. And you, I just want to pray for you that God may deliver you from, that, and, and from those anxious thoughts. That God may meet your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You, you may have lost your job in, in this pandemic, but I want to tell you that my God will meet all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone who is watching this video, for everyone who is going to watch this video. Father, I pray that all may be well with them. Father, I pray that you meet all their needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, I pray that you give them peace which surpasses all understanding. Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you clothe them with a garment of praise. You, you clothe them with a garment of worship. Take away the spirit of, of heaviness and give them joy and give them peace and give them peace which surpasses all understanding. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Hallelujah. May it be well with you guys. As I always say, I love you and God loves you. May you have an awesome week. May you have a blessed week. May it be well with you. Love you so much. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you so much. Bye.